Accessing a Turnitin submission point and viewing the assignment inbox. After logging into the VLE, locate the site containing the Turnitin submission point you need to view the submissions for. When the content area of the site is displayed, locate the Turnitin submission point. If the submission point is in a folder or learning module, click on the folder's row to expand its contents. Click on the submission point's title to launch its assignment inbox. When the assignment inbox is displayed, you will see a table that contains a row per student enrolled on the VLE site. With the submission point set to be anonymously marked, you won't, however, see any student names listed in the author column of the table. Where a submission has been received from a student, you will see the details of the submission in a row of the table. It is important to note that when marking summative assessments, it is critical that you filter the assignment inbox before you start marking student submissions. This is covered in the video titled Selecting Work to Mark. You should not click the Reveal Author's Identity button at the left-hand side of a submissions row. This will irrevocably remove the anonymity of that student's submission and provide a text field for you to enter the reason you are revealing the student's identity. Use of this button and by whom is captured in the history log for the submission point. Assuming the listed submissions haven't been made very recently, for example within the last few hours, the table will give you an indication of the text matching percentage for the submissions shown. A less obvious but potentially useful feature of the assignment inbox table to be aware of is that you can sort the table on some of its columns. By default, the table is sorted reverse chronologically on the uploaded column, the date and time the submissions were received. Clicking the uploaded column header will, for example, reorder chronologically from oldest to newest. You can also similarly reorder the table by grade and by similarity percentage. Submissions received after the due date set for the submission point are visually identified by the uploaded time and date being displayed in red in the assignment inbox. This doesn't however mean a submission is late, as the student submitting may have an extension. Turnitin is however unaware of whether a student has an extension or not. This is one of the key reasons that it is critical you filter the assignment inbox before you start marking submissions.